day everyone it's lisa welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you are new uh thank you for stopping by and if you're a returning person that's already subscribed definitely thank you for continuing watching my videos i have a what i thought was going to be a quick unboxing however when i went to edit i realized that my iphone was out of storage and i had to dump a whole bunch of files so I've already unboxed or unpacked um, all these items, but I do want to do a quick reveal. Um, I won't be swatching anything today from the pen side of things. I will have other videos coming out on an, another product that I'm going to probably film after this one, which I will swatch. So that's kind of another part or a different video. But I did want to do a quick reveal of a few fountain pens that I was able to get my hands on. Um, on lately and two of them are very much anticipated um, so I will show you what they are really quickly and I've got one of these off to the side because it was an instant giveaway um, so the first thing that was off to the side was my Twisby um, I was able to get the um, Twisby in a rose gold and white um, it comes in the standard box wide well, we'll show you the packaging a little bit um, you open it up and I will put, grab the pen really quickly so that you can see that. I've already stuck it in my pen case because like I said, I have to reshoot this. So this opened up and then the pen sat underneath the literature and I have of course my wrench and the silicone grease. And I'll put that back. And here is the Twisby that I did get. This is the Twisby Echo in white and rose gold. Um, nice looking finial on the top that's nice and flat and flush and no decorations on the bottom finial. Um, piston filled and this one I do believe is the fine nib in rose gold. So this works in complement to my other Twisby that I have in rose gold, which is the Twisby Diamond um, 580AL in rose gold and smoke. Um, I love this pen. This pen is a medium nib pen. I have not inked this one up, but all Twisbys write really nicely. I have cleaned out both um, of them, so they're ready to go. I've just got other fountain pens currently inked. And so if you ever like to see a video on what I have currently inked up, leave the comments below. Um, none of these videos are sponsored. I have no affiliate channels with any of the places that I got these pens from, which was Goulet Pens. Um, so um, all my comments and views are of, of my own and with my own money. Um, additionally, I received in box number two, a Conklin. Now, I also got this one from Goulet Pens, and I'm sorry for the sunlight, I'm shooting by the window. And I got the Duragraph in, again, rose gold and clear. I absolutely love this fountain pen. Conklin's a great company. However, I will point out on this video, I do have some scratches or film or residue that are that's on this pen that I'm not happy with down here at the bottom finial portion. So I will be reaching back out to Conklin to address that issue. Um, again, beautiful flat finial. This says Conklin on it. And there's even uh, right here on that. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to do it like this so that you can see what model I have. I have 467 out of 898 of the Duragraph in the special limited edition. Um, I'm hoping to get that swapped out with Goulet. And let me see what size nib I got on this one. I love the beautiful rose gold nib, but they don't do rose gold nibs on Conklin. They give you the black nib. And this one is a stub. Um, I have another Conklin pen that is a stub and I absolutely love their stub nibs. So let me see if I can get this so it actually twists so that the, oops. There is a trick to getting this so it actually it does one and a half turn, one and a quarter turn. So let me just do it like this. It's not working. And I'm going to send it back because I actually don't like that video on the end. 
So I've never had a problem with anything shipped from Goulet. This is my first one. I'm sure they didn't look at it to see um, what the quality of the pin was. They probably assumed it was fine. It is not. So I will bring that to their attention. And lastly, um, this one is much anticipated by me. It's been in a cart for about six months. Um, but when I saw that the um, supply of it was running low, I went ahead and pulled the trigger. I got this one off of Amazon. Um, I think last time I checked, there was only one of these left. I will leave the link below in the comments. No promises. You might have to um, surf around to find who might have this one. But this is my very first one from this company. And it is a Le bon. The model of the fountain pen that I got from Le bon is a, and I came, the pen usually would sit here. This is some kind of very interesting bookmark from Le bon. I put my receipt in the bottom of it so I didn't lose track of it, but it does not come with the receipt in it. It's just the literature for it with the warranty underneath it. So I got the, I love this box though. This is one of the best packages for pens I've seen. Um, I got the fine nib of the Le bon. That away so store that and it is called cream latte let me just pull that in for you this is it and i'm not sure if the camera is going to do it justice but it has a little bit of like striation in the acrylic it's just absolutely i love love this pen um it's a nice chocolate brown here and i love the round end on the on the finial for that and is it, I guess it's just my reflection. And then the finial on the top, sorry, looks like this with the Le bon, uh, logo there. And this is also a twist top. It's just a beautiful fountain pen. Put the cap down. And again, I got this one in the fine nib. Um, and I got it off of Amazon, surprisingly enough. I saw somebody else on YouTube who had this pen. And I was like, oh my God, that pen is gorgeous. I had never heard of Le bon. Um, So this is my very first one. But I flushed it. Um, I haven't put, I haven't inked it up yet. I'm going to probably ink it up a little bit later in the month. So if you would like to see that, again, leave the comments below. Um, so that's pretty much it, people. I just wanted to say hi, uh, show you the quick reveal of those fountain pens. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. Leave any comments below. If you've got a Le bon pen, let me know which one you have and what your writing experience has been. I've got Twisby and Conklin already, so I know how wonderful those are. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for stopping by, and I really do appreciate your support. Have a good one. Bye.